Hello, and welcome to The Curators, a podcast about game projects on Kickstarter. I'm Joey. And I'm Marcelo. You can find all the games we are going to talk about, as well as plenty of other recommendations, at our curated page at kickstarter.com slash gamerati. You can also find links to each of these projects in the show notes of this episode at thecurators.gamerati.com. So who starts, Joey? Well, I think it depends on who really gets to have two games this time. <laughs> um, now, I the last episode was a solo episode, so I did three games like on my own. So why don't you do two games? Sure, You'll do the mystery. first one. It's I'll go a second. game by Isel Hus- Husseinova. It, it she it says here that she's from Florence, Italy. It's an Eastern style ancient board game full of mystery. So it's called Eastern Mystery. Uh, what attracted me to this game is that it it's very, very simple. It reminds me of those, I don't want to say kids' board games, but those very simple board, board games I used to play as a kid. You know, when you buy a box and there are four different kinds of board games, very simple mm-hmm. ones which in which you pretty much just roll a dice and move your pawn. It's on a beautiful board, and this ancient style of board game... I feel like we, we, we do some deep cuts here <laughs> when we talk about board games, especially if I get to talk about my second board game for the episode, which is the polar opposite of this one. But this game is very simple, one to six players. You start on the one side of the board, you have to finish on the other side of the board. You have Each one chooses a character and you have a path. You have a pawn, you roll dice, oh, you roll a die, to go forwards on your path and every now and again you land on a square for lack of other name and you pull a card and see if something happens that moves you forward moves you back makes you stay put for a round or have you interact with other players now here is the beauty of this if you look close to if you look close the board uh, some paths cross other paths there are relationships between certain characters. So you kind of influence other players as you play. There are some cards that you, when you, you have them, you ask questions to other characters, to, to other players. You may have them help you or hinder your path. So, But any, anyhow, th- this doesn't render the game too, too complex. It's just like it, it's frosty on the cake. You don't draw cards all that often uh, but it's just this kind of simple game you roll the dice and get to move your pawn over a beautifully designed board it could be a play mat but it's a board so that's it there's there's not a lot to talk about this game except that it's it's pretty it's simple it reminds me of the kinds of games i used to play as a kid that's that's the reason also shipping is very <laughs> very very cheap <laughs> Which is a plan. It seems really simple, but really pretty. So I, I, I think it's really interesting, actually, that you that you brought something like this to the table. I'm interested to see what you're going to bring that is apparently the...